Port Tobacco, Maryland in Charles County is the home to one of America's oldest ghost stories, the legend of the Blue Dog of Rose Hill. Just like any other legend or rumor, there are as many versions as there are people. You may have heard of the version from 1680, but the story I'm going to tell you is the version from 1775. It happened on a full moon night in February of 1775. An old peddler was traveling through Charles County on his horse along with his blue hound dog. And they came across a tavern where they decided to go inside and get something to eat. So the peddler tied up his horse, tied up the blue hound dog, and got his bag of gold coins out of his sack on the horse and headed into the tavern. Unfortunately for the peddler on this full moon night, there were three hoodlums in the tavern. They watched the peddler and noticed him paying with his bag of gold coins and decided that when he left, they were gonna run ahead of him and hide in the woods at Rose Hill and jump him when he arrived and steal his bag of coins. They headed out for the woods at Rose Hill, which is the home of Dr. Gustavus Brown. The peddler went outside and headed down the road with his bag of gold coins in his hand. He decided not to ride the horse because he still felt a little tired and was concerned that the horse would run away with him and not have his coins anymore. So he walked down the road toward Rose Hill. As he approached the woods at Rose Hill, out from the woods came the three hoodlums. They attacked him. They grabbed him, tried to steal the bag of coins from it. The peddler would not let go. He did not give up without a fight. The blue dog started to attack to defend its master. The only way they could stop the peddler was to pick up a large rock and hit him in the head with it. It killed him on the spot. But the blue dog was still defending its master. And the only way they could stop him was hit him in the head with the very same rock and that killed him on the spot too. They decided to come back the next night and get the gold because they were concerned that people heard the screaming and barking of the dog and that they would get caught red-handed with the bag of gold. So they buried the gold right under the very same rock they killed both the peddler and his blue dog with. And they came back the next night to get it. But no sooner did they get into the woods, when out from the woods came tearing the ghost of the blue dog, and it chased him away. They never got the gold, and to this day, no one knows if anyone has either. But rumor and legend have it that if you go to Rose Hill Road on a full moon night, the ghost of the blue dog may come out of the woods and lead you to the gold. And if you're there with a good heart and pure intentions, you may very well go home with the treasure. So perhaps you one night on a full moon will visit Rose Hill Road for an adventure. <laughs>